Hey guys, welcome back. What are we on? We're eight or something like that. So today I think I'm going to put the cabinet face frame, base and wall back in. That'll give me enough that I can start the bead border on there. I need to put a backer in. I was thinking about putting a niche spice rack down there that went in and touches the, the shower surround. I, I know I need a backer there at least and then one up there as well to hold the, the bead board that we're putting on there. I don't know if I'm going to put this wood on just yet. When the slide is closed you can't get in here because this comes into like here. So you got like six inches to get through which you could I guess if you were a small guy. Uh, but you still have problems. So when the fire happened, I had to bust this door off the hinges so I could use that frame as a step to get into here. Um, so I think I'm going to take these and cut them down. Just basically move this top down, move this frame in, and then trim it off so it's down and out. Both over here and over here. So I think I'm going to do that today as well as putting in that cabinet. So let's get to that. Huh? Get to it. Well, hell, I had my cabinet sitting out here leaning on the door and the wind blew it over and it fell down on my, my valance for the windows and put a hole in it. I wonder if it matters which way I put it in. Uh, mm, I think I'm going to be able to turn it around 180, right? And make the hole underneath the, the hood. This will show, but I don't feel like putting a whole new piece of plywood on here just for that. Let's get this on and then we'll put, we can put that shelf on, I think. That's up there, that shelf there, and then the wall. So the base, the shelf, the wall, and then we can put the face on. All right, I think I have to put this shelf in first, if I remember right. I, I don't remember, but I think that was the reason I had to put the face on. Okay, nine and three quarters. <laughs> nine and three quarters. There-ish. All right, I think so. Where's my wall? I got the wall. Amazing. Okay. Those is on. Feeding these. Let's get this thing upper. Upper. Okay. Alright. I guess that's where she goes. Ish. Did this thing grow? I don't think it grew. Oh. oh. Okay. Holy balls. I. She do. Okay. We're gonna put her right there. Come on. It's not this hard. Two more. Well, you look at that. We have a cabinet back together. We just need to put the floor in. Cool. It's a quarter after five. Let's see what else we can do. Only one button cover is left. It's a button with fabric, fabric cover on it. Oh, where is my pink tape measure? Maybe we take a foot off. 12 inches all the way over. And then we'll have the top right above that, huh? So let me go get some cutting things. I got a jigsaw, not exactly the most beautiful cutting device that we could be using, but it's gonna work. So I think we're just gonna go with 12 inches. So let's get 12, make a line. Okay, let's cut this uh, face off. Hey, we're almost right on our lines, that was a plus. This will go back here. Let's get a line back there. Somewhere like there. like that. How do we cut that down so we can get this guy in there? Do we even need this in there? 
Why is that even insulated? Bye. Fix them out of here, I guess, huh? Pretty darn close. Earn it. I think we can call that good. Not gonna be able to get the back. The face will just have to work. This here, let's just put this down. And act like we know what we're doing. Well, I guess it was right on there. It was right on the edge. Right on the edge. All right, there's that. Let's clean it up and see what it looks like with the cushion. Okie dokie. And the cushion. That's nice. That'll work. Then we'll just shorten that cushion up. Let's give better access for a, for a skinny guy like myself, you know, to get in. Uh, the other side. Tomorrow we'll cut that wall down, get all of the, uh, the luon on in the kitchen. I got my laminate for the countertop too. But anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, day two. We're going to finish this other side over here. I think I'm going to cut it back here and leave a little bit left all the way down. We're going to take it down. Uh, what do we do on the other side? 12 inches, I think. So we're going to take off 12 inches. I guess that's it. Let's do it. How far in should we go? 15? Go in 15 inches. Well, how's it look? A little wavy, but it should do. Which one goes where? Three in there. That's nice and tight. Pull right out. We'll end up screwing them. Let's clean that up. Okay. Nice. That works for me. Now I'll be able to get through there when the slides close. Let's uh, see if we can't put some wall boards on. All right, so in the kitchen here, I think I'm gonna make a cardboard template of these windows. Oh, yeah. 19 inches. Let's look. 28. We'll say three inches. Three inches, three inches. We're a little bigger all the way around. Perfect. Let's get the other one. 22. Uh, 30. 22. 22. 30. Something straight. Cardboard. Cardboard straight edge. Alright, does it fit? There we go. Left and right looks good. Top and bottom look good. So let's cut the radius. this my window yep all right so I got my two window templates yeah four foot right to the middle of the window 24 and a half what do we got over here 24 and a half shy all right so we'll cut a 24 and a half shy by four foot 8 18 and a half eight far down four and a quarter Thirty-three and three quarters strong. So this thing here, we're gonna put on our lines. Where's my other line? There's my other line. That should be the window. We hope.
Oops, I forgot to hit record. I cut this out with the jigsaw. All right, let's go put this in. That'll work. We got a good gapper on the window. Oh, there goes my little piece. Broken. Whoops. Wind blew it down. Oh, well. 25 and three quarters. Let's draw this picture here. 19. 42 and a half. So we have 43, 23 and a quarter. Let's go draw it out. It's right in that. Mm -hmm. Let's go see if it fits. I'm gonna put trim around there and in the corners. That'll get trim. This corner gets trim. Let's put the other piece in there. All right, there, there it is, huh? I like it. Guess we could probably do that corner real quick. We got back. All right, we're back. I forgot to cut it there. Let me go cut it there. Now we've got it. Cut size. Perfect. Bead lines up. A little bit of room. Maybe we got something that'll fit this. 41 and three quarters. 16 and a half. 19. 43 and a quarter. This dog leg, I don't know if we'll have enough to do that. 40 and a quarter. That looks like it's gonna be 78. Let's just start marking stuff. It's gonna be close, like five inches shy. Let's just try to cut it and see what we get. Let's see if it fits. Oh, it broke. It fits though. Great. Most of this bottom down here is going to be covered with the countertop. I think that'll look good. I think I'm going to wrap that up for today. I'll uh, I'll start gluing these on on the next one. We'll finish putting these boards in over here. These are just going to be the regular like 16th inch paneling like we got on the rest of that. And then we'll wrap that up. Anyway. Stay curious, chase your dreams. I'll see you around the bend. Happy roaming.